Hi, it's Nick Bestwick from Computer Bliss here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem when an internet connection is broken. Let me let me show you what I mean. On my desktop, I've set up three icons for the three of the main browsers: Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. And I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. Or try to. The proxy server isn't responding. Uh, check your proxy settings and IP address. A load of gump there, so let's just close Internet Explorer for a second. So we're going to try Google Chrome. Proxy server connection failed. No oh dear, no little sad face, that's not good. And Firefox. Firefox is working. Oh, so what what exactly is going on here? Right, so if you go to the start menu, just click once on the start menu, go to control panel, and then select network and internet. Internet options, the connections tab, LAN settings, and here's our problem here. This can be caused by malware or spyware or some other piece of software being installed on your machine, and it sometimes somehow manages to check this box. Just uncheck it and leave this checkbox here. Automatically detect settings. Say OK. OK again. And close the network and internet section. And now I'm going to launch Internet Explorer again. And hey presto, it's working. Chrome. looks good. Let's just do a little random search to make sure we're not looking at cached content. This applies to Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, pretty much any operating system that you've got. If you're running this Windows, this tip applies. The reason that Firefox didn't actually break is it works slightly differently. It's a bit more intelligent in a way. I open up Firefox and I click on the settings tab, these three bars here in the top right hand corner. Go to options. And now on the advanced button right at the end there, there's a network tab in the middle configure how Firefox connects to the internet. I'm going to click on settings. No proxy, which is correct. However, if this was set to this, with this IP address or some IP address, so local loopback address is known as, then we would have had the same problem. I'll cancel that and cancel that because we don't need to make any changes there. And that's how you fix a broken internet connection. Thank you for watching my video tip, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.